Good evening, everyone, and thank you for overcoming your Zoom fatigue to join us for Georgia Bio's 2021 Golden Helix Awards. My name is Maria thacker Gothi, and I'm President and CEO of Georgia Bio. Before we begin, I would like to thank our event sponsors and our Champion and Premier members. Your support and dedication to the organization enable Georgia Bio to develop initiatives and host programs that meet the most urgent needs of our community. Tonight, we celebrate the contributions and achievements of Georgia's leading life science innovators. Their breakthroughs have led to new cures and treatments for patients in Georgia and all over the world. While I'm sorry we cannot celebrate in person tonight, I'm delighted that we have the opportunity to come together virtually to honor some amazing companies and people. We had some outstanding nominations, and as always, the awards committee had a robust debate in selecting this year's winners. Individuals, organizations, and partnerships contributing in profoundly important ways to combating COVID-19 will be honored this evening. Speaking of the awards committee, I would like to thank the chair of the committee, Dr. Chris McKinney with Augusta University, and all of the members of that committee for their time and dedication. Their task is not easy, especially after a year like 2020, and I cannot thank them enough for their thoughtful and diligent assessment of each nomination. We are more than a year into this global pandemic now, and while much has been lost to COVID-19, our nation, Georgia especially, has gained a deeper appreciation and understanding of the value our industry provides, the value of medical innovation. To quote my colleague and friend, Dr. Michelle McMurray-Heath, President and CEO of the Biotechnology Innovation Organization in DC, this has been biotech's finest hour. That couldn't be more true. Our industry has played a leading role in addressing the many challenges presented by COVID. Not just medical challenges, but logistical and ethical ones as well. We've seen the industry show great resilience and adaptability, with companies creatively shifting their manufacturing logistics to produce much needed PPE and hand sanitizers. 
In this time of crisis, the life sciences community united at unprecedented speed and achieved amazing things that were only possible because of radical collaboration. And when I look back on all that you have accomplished and endured this past year, I'm truly humbled and inspired. Today's awards program provides an opportunity to showcase the significance of our state's life sciences ecosystem and express gratitude to those who have devoted their extraordinary ingenuity, expertise, and resolve to the COVID-19 response and to patients around the world. So show your appreciation throughout the program using the emojis at the bottom of your screen or send a note in the chat or even better, join us at the end of the program for our breakout rooms where you can congratulate the winners directly. So thank you, and hats off to you, our members and partners, the biotechnology and life sciences companies that have shown the world the best of our industry and our state, and most importantly, the power of collaboration. Together, we will continue to press forward and shape a healthier, more equitable world. Now, before we launch into presenting the awards, allow me to take one more moment to thank Patty Fritz of UCB, whose leadership as Georgia Bio's board chair over the last three years has taken our organization to new heights. Under her direction, we have grown membership, hosted the largest summit in our history, restructured our organization and board for better sustainability, and significantly advanced our advocacy efforts at the federal, state, and local levels. On behalf of our community and personally, thank you, Patty, for everything. And now I would like to invite Patty to make a few remarks and introduce Georgia Bio's new chairperson. Thank you, Maria. It's been an honor and a pleasure to serve as the board chair for Georgia Bio. My time as chair has helped me recognize just how vast and impactful our life sciences community is. This experience has also allowed me to engage with amazing people and identify resources right here in our own backyard that allow us to work together to create a healthier tomorrow. Going forward, we have the opportunity and I think more importantly, the responsibility to amplify the impact of our industry's innovations. With that in mind, I'm so excited to introduce Georgia Bias new chairperson, Shay Foley, General Manager of Alcon. Shay has a long track record of developing a strong safety, technical, and quality culture wherever he goes. And he has led the launch of medical and consumer products critical to business growth. Shay is known for his commitment to talent development and has demonstrated success in building an engaged and high-performing teams. And more importantly, Shay knows the importance of community as exemplified by his active engagement with leaders at the state and local level. Georgia Bio is certainly lucky to have him. Before I pass the gavel to Shay, I wanna thank Maria for her leadership. She is really the thread between many organizations in our ecosystem and our life sciences community, balancing their needs along with those of Georgia Bio so that we can continue to move ahead. I wanna thank my own company, UCB, for its commitment to our very own patient value ambition, our strategy of innovation, transforming the lives of people living with chronic severe disease, and importantly, for being a vibrant contributor to Georgia's life sciences community. I would like to officially welcome the new Georgia Bio Chair, Shay Foley. Hello, Patty. Thank you. And you are leaving behind some large shoes for me to fill. Your exceptional leadership of Georgia Bio these past two years has been inspirational. And I am grateful for this opportunity to play a leadership role in growing the life sciences community in Georgia. Although every industry has felt the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic, few are positioned for success and positive change like ours is. The life sciences industry is now fully in the national spotlight and collective consciousness of people all around the globe. I will not miss this chance to show the world that Georgia is a major hub for innovation and entrepreneurial talent. The future of life sciences in Georgia is bright and my mission with Georgia Bio is clear, to work with you to actively engage our policymakers, support our activities to develop a robust workforce and enhance the narrative of the value of Georgia's research universities. Most importantly, I look forward to working with Maria and the team to further showcase our industry's innovations. 
Together, we can create an environment of collaboration and accountability that will support our local innovators and leaders and cement Georgia's place as a competitor in life sciences. To do this, I need your help. Please engage with the organization and don't hesitate to reach out to me. Finally, I would like to thank Cindy Edge with Boringler Ingelham for joining me on this leadership journey as Georgia Bio's new vice chair. Thank you again, Patty, Maria, and our board for this opportunity to serve. I cannot wait to get to know all of you. Now, I would like to introduce our awards committee chairman, Chris McKinney from Augusta University. Thank you very much. Welcome everyone to the Golden Helix Awards. And thank you, Patty and Shay, for your service on the Georgia Bio Board. This year marks the 23rd annual award dinner and our second virtual convening for this event. Tonight, we welcome the broader community of industry, service providers, and academic leaders, not only to celebrate success in our industry, but also to recognize efforts of those responding to the coronavirus pandemic. Each year, Georgia Bio recognizes outstanding achievements by people, companies, and organizations in our state's bioscience industry. It has been my honor to chair our awards committee for the past two years, and I want to thank my fellow committee members for their service. We have the difficult task of choosing the best of the best, and it's exciting to see all the innovation and collaboration coming from all over the great state of Georgia. The most prestigious award we bestow is the Industry Growth Award, which recognizes individuals in the public and private sectors who have made extraordinary contributions to the growth of Georgia's life sciences industry. We also recognize outstanding accomplishments with Community Awards, Deals of the Year, Emerging Leaders of the Year, Legislators of the Year, Biotechnology Teacher of the Year, Innovation Awards, Phoenix Awards sponsored by the Metro Atlanta Chamber, and a special Lifetime Achievement Award. Georgia Bio would like to thank Avantor, Delivered by BWR, Brady Ware, the Metro Atlanta Chamber, and Office Depot for their support of tonight's dinner. Now, let the awards begin. From discovery to delivery, science professionals worldwide trust Avantor to help enable breakthroughs in biologics, clinical trials, and lab operations, moving their life-changing products and solutions forward. Our first award category of the night is the Biotechnology Teacher of the Year Award which honors high school biotechnology teachers for their excellence in STEM teaching and support for the biotechnology pathway for students. This year's winner of the Biotechnology Teacher of the Year Award is Dr. Brittany Denier Cantrell. Brittany facilitates educator development for Forsyth County Schools and is passionate about increasing student access to diverse and rigorous STEM coursework. Hello, my name is Brittany Cantrell, and I wanted to take just a moment to thank all of the people who have supported and inspired me throughout my career as a STEM educator. A huge thank you to the BioEd Institute for this tremendous honor. And thank you to Dr. Gary Davison, Mrs. Heather Gordy, Dr. Jeff Bearden, all of my science colleagues, and the Forsyth County Schools for their support of me and of STEM education as a whole. A very special thank you to Mrs. Janet Standevin, who is both a mentor and a friend, and has been my lab partner for way too many years to count. Thank you to my sweet husband, Brian, for believing in my crazy what if dreams and doing all of my lab dishes. Most especially, thank you to my students who are a constant source of inspiration. They are my reason. 15 years ago, I left a research position in lab and dedicated my life to making STEM accessible and meaningful in a way that it was not for me when I was in high school. I've always felt like science is something that you do and not just something you talk about. And so I've worked hard to make sure all of my students have access to a rich and diverse science curriculum. Biotechnology is the future of science, so what better way to prepare students to feel efficacious in STEM? Through iGEM and scientific research, I have been able to provide my students with what is essentially a laboratory playground, a place where they are encouraged to be creative and innovative while solving real world problems using biotechnology in service of others. This has been one of my greatest professional joys. It is truly my honor to be named the 2021 Biotechnology Teacher of the Year. Thank you. Our next award is the Emerging Leader of the Year Award, 
which honors young professionals for outstanding contributions to the success of the Emerging Leaders Network and the growth of Georgia's life sciences community. Congratulations to Brian Yurgilevich, a neuroscience PhD candidate in the Regenerative Biosciences Center at the University of Georgia. He earned his Bachelor of Science degree in Biological Sciences and Animal Sciences from Cornell and his Master of Science degree in Animal and Dairy Science from UGA. Brian is very active in the Emerging Leaders Network, growing the Athens chapter, and currently serves as vice chair. Hi, my name is Brian Jurgowitz, and I was awarded the Georgia Bio Emerging Leader of the Year Award. I am humbled and honored to receive this award among many amazing young professionals and scientists that represent the Georgia biotech and pharma community. Firstly, I would like to thank the organizing committee and the voting board for this great honor. Since my early time in graduate school, Georgia Bio provided me with an amazing opportunity to learn about the industry, but more importantly, to meet and network with several inspiring scientists, investors, and other members of the biopharma industry here in the state of Georgia. Thank you to Georgia Bio for helping me advance my career as I have recently defended my PhD dissertation under the direction of Dr. Steven Stice at the University of Georgia. Thank you. Our other award winner is Tariana Stewart, Intellectual Property Business Development Executive for IBM Research. She is an experienced biomedical scientist and is an advocate for early stage technologies making an impact in real world applications through her service with GIPA, Women in Bio and MIT Enterprise Forum. So first I would like to thank those who took the time out to nominate me for the 2021 Golden Helix Award for Emerging Leader of the Year. I wouldn't be here without my strong village. All of you have taken time out to guide me, mentor me, and help me navigate my career. Second, I'd like to say that science affects every aspect of our lives, and I'm honored to receive this award from an organization that is an advocate for those within the science community and is able to provide a great platform for success and outreach. Next, I would like to introduce Ben Harris, Director of Supply Chain Bioscience and Advanced Manufacturing at the Metro Atlanta Chamber to present the Phoenix Awards. Good evening, everyone. On behalf of the Metro Atlanta Chamber, I'm so happy to present this year's Phoenix Award. The Phoenix Award is presented annually by the Metro Atlanta Chamber to recognize organizations for being on the front lines of education and innovation, as well as their outstanding contributions to the growth of the state's bioscience industry. The award represents the iconic rising of the ashes of the Phoenix, a symbol of strength, tenacity, and leadership qualities that were especially important in 2020 as we battled the pandemic on many fronts. We are thrilled to have two re recipients this year. The first Phoenix Award goes to the thousands of employees at the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, or the CDC, for their tireless efforts to fight COVID-19, save lives, and help us safely return to work and school. Since the beginning, the CDC has been at the forefront of sharing knowledge they have led a tireless quest to learn how COVID-19 spreads and affects people. This knowledge spawned thousands of pages of carefully researched and regularly updated guidance that has helped healthcare providers, schools, and businesses operate safely and respond to outbreaks. They developed protocols for travelers to protect communities across the globe in a mobile world. The scientists, researchers, and medical professionals at the CDC are working day and night to protect all of us. These are the heroes on which we should rely, those who have studied this disease since it first appeared, who have battled similar diseases, who led vaccination campaigns before. They are our greatest weapon and our most valuable asset. This is why we honor them. Hi everyone, it's Michelle Wilson, Senior Advisor for Georgia Relations at CDC. On behalf of the entire CDC family, Thank you so much for this year's Phoenix Award. Special thanks to our friends at the Metro Atlanta Chamber in Georgia Bio. We are truly humbled and grateful to be acknowledged by the Georgia community for our efforts in responding to COVID-19. At CDC, we've been responding to the current pandemic since January of 2020 and have had over 8,600 of our staff responding and that number continues to grow. But much of what we have done in responding to COVID-19 could not have been done without the support of our partners. And that means you, 
our partners in the Georgia community. So thank you. Thank you for what you have done, you are doing, and you will continue to do to support us at CDC in our response to COVID and advancing CDC's public health mission. Thank you. Additionally, we would like to honor the Global Health Crisis Coordination Center, otherwise known as the GHC3, which was launched in partnership with the CDC Foundation and Microsoft. The GHC3 was launched nearly one year ago as a division of the Center for Global Health Innovation. The GHC3 was established to help the world respond when a health crisis strikes, and in its first year, GHC3 has already aligned industry partners to advance solutions to critical issues facing global health. Their amazing accomplishments include launching its back, back to programs, back to school, back to work, and back to worship. The back to school initiative in, in particular is a scalable, repeatable, and adaptable plan for students to return to school that is now being rolled out to schools across the country and was piloted at the Atlanta-based school Kip Elementary, impacting over 700 students. The team recently learned that the program will now be extended to over 5,000 students across all 11 sites of KIPP Atlanta. Additionally, GHC3 was able to leverage private sector partnerships to secure donations of mitigation supplies and equipment for KIPP with a value of over $250,000. Working with the community leaders, GHC3 will also host health fairs with testing and wraparound services at KIPP school sites over the next two months. GHC3 also launched the PAVE vaccine tool, which is a virtual solution developed to help public health officials and organizations determine how to allocate vaccine doses to ensure optimized equity and impact. PAVE has also been distributed to over 50, all 50 states and the nine territories. Lastly, they have done considerable work on vaccine information equity. This new opportunity funded by the CDC will build strategic messaging to impact underserved communities around the globe. GHC3 is working with partners John Hopkins, Hopkins University, Emory University, Morehouse School of Medicine, and Rewe on an information equity program, uh, pronounced COVID, to ensure COVID-19 vaccine information is accurate, trusted, context-specific, and equally accessible for all communities and demographics in the United States. Following this first year, GHC3 has bold ambitions to build on this success. Let's congratulate GHC3. Hi, I'm Ken Berta, the Executive Director of GHC3, the Global Health Crisis Coordination Center. I want to thank Georgia Bio for this prestigious award and the sponsors for this award, the Metro Atlanta Chamber. Through the power of our partnerships that span private, public, and philanthropic organizations, GHC3 is proud to have made an impact during COVID-19 in several key areas. In underserved communities, through our back to school program with the KIPP Academy in Woodson Park, in vaccine distribution with our PAVE tool to support the equitable distribution of vaccines, and in promoting access to testing through the When to Test website with the NIH's RADx program. Thank you again for a fantastic award and your support as we expand our mission to support better health to those who need it most. Hi, I'm Mike Colellis. I'm the CEO of MyCart, a 45-year-old pharmaceutical manufacturing company located in the Upper West Side of Atlanta. This year, we had the opportunity to make a difference in the pandemic when two separate companies asked us to manufacture two drugs to treat COVID-19 patients. We did so after a lot of hard work and planning, and those drugs are shipping today. We're proud to stand shoulder to shoulder with the other companies in the Georgia biotech community. Please get vaccinated when you can and stay safe. Hello and welcome to the Mechanical Ventilation Lab. In this room, we actually teach our students, our respiratory therapy students, how to use mechanical ventilators. This lab was very important as we went into the 2020 COVID season, as many of these machines were actually 
uh, loan to some of our clinical partners for use in their sites because of the lack of machines that, that, that all the hospitals were running out of machines to do say it eat most directly. At Oncolins, we help providers in cancer treatment planning, where a multidisciplinary discussion of a case is very important. When COVID hit, most cancer centers stopped these case discussions. To meet this critical need, we quickly enabled the ability for cancer care teams to virtually connect with each other with the appropriate data set on a patient. Care teams were able to collaborate on treatment plans while ensuring everyone's safety. And in fact, this virtualization has improved physician attendance and helped expand multidisciplinary engagement, all of which improve patient care. Day, friends of Buzzy. Throughout the COVID pandemic, I greeted people with those words on a weekly basis, distilling 15 minutes of COVID information for transmission, possible therapeutics, and ways that it could be caught. In addition, Pain Care Labs supported me raising money to do a nasal irrigation trial, determining that nasal irrigation was something that could mitigate or stop the spread of COVID. I was asked to testify before the Health and Human Services Vaccine Advisory Committee on Buzzy to reduce adult needle fear and promote vaccination, and we were named one of the top pain care devices for telehealth and home pain management with our Vibrical device. It's been a busy COVID. Hello, I'm Johan Fernando, Worldwide President for the Urology and Critical Care Business at BD. BD Associates support patient care, including medication management, drug delivery, and critical care. BD rapidly introduced the BD Veritor system, allowing COVID point of care testing, and pledged to fill over a billion injection device orders for COVID-19 vaccination efforts around the world. Here in Georgia, BD is working to ensure hospitals have enough supplies that are required to treat COVID-19 patients and employs about 400 Georgia residents to support the Georgia's business economy. Thank you. Hello, Georgia Bio. Uh, my name is Brandon Weiner. I manage CRB's design services group here in Atlanta. CRB has supported more than 20 COVID-19 related projects across North America and Europe, with at least eight of those connected to the U.S. federal government's Operation Warp Speed program. Our work included fast-track design and construction projects to deliver new and renovated manufacturing facilities, consulting and design services for testing labs, process scale-up, and more. CRB is proud to support our clients' efforts in developing these COVID-19 vaccines and therapies. Good evening. I am Teresa Snyder with Brady Ware & Company, an accounting and consulting firm here in Georgia. It has been our privilege to work with Georgia Bio both before and during the transition to Center for Global Health Innovation. This has deepened our experience with biotech companies and appreciation for the challenges met in ensuring not only clinical success, but increasing opportunities for financial success. Brady Ware is proud to be a sponsor of the Golden Helix Awards. Our congratulations go to tonight's winners, all the nominees, and all those involved with CGHI. Next up, we have the Community Awards. 
These awards recognize individuals, companies, and organizations for significant contributions to Georgia's life sciences industry. Each of the awardees has made extraordinary efforts to better the industry in the state. Our first honoree is Carl Clark, retired director for technology transfer at the Office of Innovation at Augusta University. He has spent more than 40 years mentoring entrepreneurs and collaborating with partners and research institutions across the state to foster innovation. It's truly an honor to win the Georgia Bio Community Award. Thank you so much for your recognition of my work. Being part of the biotechnology community and watching it become more robust every year is exciting. Along with you, I expect there are only good things coming for the state of Georgia. Of course, no one works in a vacuum. I would like to thank my wife for her support and my daughter for believing in her dad. I would also like to thank my office mates at Augusta University, Chris McKinney, Julie Kelly, Leigh Wan, Alex Pereiro, and Becky Gilmore for all their help in sharing the vision of innovation. Thank you again and enjoy your evening. Our next Community Award winner is Nancy Paris, retired president of Georgia Corps. She has played a pivotal role in improvising cancer care in Georgia through increasing clinical trials, decreasing disparities, and improving cancer care for the past 19 years. It's my great pleasure to thank Georgia Bio for this recognition of Georgia Corps, the Center for Oncology Research and Education. I'm so pleased to be accepting this community award because community cancer care and research means so much to me and to our state. And it's through innovation and partnerships and collaboration that have been fostered by Georgia Bio and many others that we've experienced a complete transformation in care. Unfortunately, not all Georgians are benefiting from the advancements in treatment and research and clinical trials. And this is something that we have to fix. And it's going to take all of us working together to do that. Industry, biopharma, biodata companies, healthcare and public health. And I guess that's why I'm really pleased that this is a community award because it will call us forward as partners and collaborators to ensure that all receive the benefits of cancer care, that we will no longer overlook or be able to overlook the disparities in treatment or outcomes. So let me thank my colleagues and friends at Georgia Bio for your vision and your leadership on this and so many other issues and pledge the support of Georgia Corps going forward to conquer cancer. Thank you. Our third community award is being presented to James Raines, Director of Design at Georgia Tech's Department of Biomedical Engineering and CEO and co-founder of Jackson Medical. James is committed to his students and their futures in the industry. He has used his experience launching his own medical device company to assist others in their endeavors to translate healthcare products to the bedside. Thank you for this recognition. It really is a privilege to be a part of a community where I can help bridge together patients and healthcare providers, and medical companies, and bright engineering students to help solve the world's greatest problems by really focusing on where the intersection of their passions and the world's greatest needs. It's really inspiring to see the work that they have done in helping patients' lives. We're really fortunate to be a part of a community that consists of true leaders and advocates that are passionate about transforming healthcare. We have great leaders such as Dean Sukatmi, Susan Margulies, Harold Solomon, Leanne West, and Sherry Ferruja, as well as many others. And I would like for you to be a part of that community if you're not already by participating in a program such as Georgia Tech's Capstone Program, where you too can be a part of helping to transform patients' lives. Thank you. Our final community award winner is Shaker Reddy, president and founder of Metaclips Therapeutics. 
A serial entrepreneur, Shaker not only shares a passion for developing therapies for patients, but one for inspiring the future generation of entrepreneurs. He has welcomed student tours, internships, and spoken at a variety of events on numerous occasions. He leads by example, and there are young leaders thriving in our workforce today due to his example. First of all, I would like to thank uh, the selection committee and the staff from Georgia Bio to give me this award. Uh, I am honored uh, and I'm excited that uh, I have been selected to, to get this award. Uh, along with the uh, Georgia Bio team, I would like to also thank uh, Lee Aaron from Georgia Research Alliance, who has uh, really given me the support to start my uh, present company, Metaclips Therapeutics. Uh, uh, I have been in Atlanta since uh, 1983, and Atlanta has been my home, and uh, I have been fortunate to get all the support I need to succeed in any venture I start in Atlanta with the close community which uh, constantly supports me in every venture I do. Uh, along with uh, uh, Georgia Bio and Georgia Research Alliance, I would also like to thank the staff uh, from Emory University who have been uh, uh, constantly supporting me in every aspect of uh, my research work at Metaclips Therapeutics. The next awards category is our Deals of the Year. Deals of the year are awarded to one or more companies or institutions for the most significant financial or commercial transactions closed from January 1st, 2020 to December 31st, 2020. The first deal of the year is presented to Children's Healthcare of Atlanta, Emory University, and the Georgia Institute of Technology for receiving a total of $54 million from the NIH RADx program. These institutions were selected to lead the national effort in COVID-19 diagnostic test validation and verification, with the goal to make millions of accurate and easy-to-use tests. The next Deal of the Year award is presented to Cryolife for their $200 million acquisition of Ascrius Medical, the developer of the world's first aortic arch remodeling device. This acquisition strengthens the company's position as a leader in the growing aortic repair market. Hello. I'm Joshua Wells. I'm in charge of business development at Cryolife. And on behalf of Pat Mack and our CEO, Ashley Lee, our CFO, Gene Holloway, our general counsel, and on behalf of the entire team who worked on Cryolife's acquisition of Osiris Medical, I would like to thank you for this Georgia Bio Golden Helix Deal of the Year Award. This was an important acquisition for us and for healthcare. We expect it to save lives, reduce reoperations, improve healthcare, and reduce the cost of healthcare for patients with aortic disease. So thank you for this recognition, Georgia Bio. Our next awardee is Georgia Cancer Center for receiving a $3.3 million grant from the Bristol Myers Squibb Foundation to cut cancer cases and death in underserved Georgians, particularly for breast, multiple myeloma, and prostate cancers. On behalf of the Georgia Cancer Center, I am so pleased and honored to be the recipient of the Public Financing Deal of the Year Award. I would be remiss if I did not especially thank the Bristol Myers Squibb Foundation for their incredible support of 3.1 million to really try to address health disparities among minority and underserved across urban and rural areas in Georgia. We will focus on breast, multiple myeloma, and prostate cancer specifically. We will also train community health workers within faith-based organizations to deliver the educational intervention. From there, we will identify those at high risk, and they will be navigated to early detection and screening methods. If anyone does is found to have something of concern, they will be navigated to care. We will also address two very important preventive factors related to tobacco and obesity, which are very cancer-causing of many cancers and specifically related to the three targeted cancers. I want to really say a huge shout out and thank you to the Georgia Cancer Center, the Medical College of Georgia, 
Department of Medicine, and our Dean, Dr. David Hess. Our fourth Deal of the Year award is presented to Medline Industries for their $70 million investment to build a new distribution center in Richmond Hill that will create 150 new jobs. Medline is the largest privately held manufacturer and distributor of medical supplies. Our next awardee is RWDC Industries for their $260 million factory and headquarters in Athens that will create 200 new jobs. This is with RWDC's partnership with the University of Georgia to tackle the global scourge of plastic waste. It's a great honor for RWDC Industries to receive the Golden Helix Award for Deal of the Year. And we'd like to thank everyone involved at Georgia Bio for recognizing the work that we're doing and the impact we intend to have here in Athens, throughout Georgia, and around the world. And we're just getting started. With our ongoing expansion, RWDC Industries continues to create good paying and meaningful jobs to help grow the economy, which is great news for all of us who call the Athens area home. This recognition by Georgia Bio also helps us create awareness about who we are and what we do as a company and how we intend to change the world by replacing single-use plastics with sustainable products that global brands and consumers embrace and that enhance the lives and work of people and ultimately make the planet a better place for future generations. Thank you again to Georgia Bio on behalf of the entire RWDC team here in Georgia and around the world. Our final Deal of the Year award goes to Vero Biotech in the private financing category. They secured $50 million to further develop their Genesil delivery system, a proprietary tankless and portable delivery system for the administration of Genesil gas for inhalation. My name is Brent Furs and I'm president and CEO of Vero Biotech. We are located in Atlanta at Technology Enterprise Park. We are a fully integrated innovation company that includes manufacturing, R&D, and customer engagement. We've enjoyed tremendous growth over the past year, and our purpose at Vero Biotech is to save lives, alleviate suffering, and improve the health economics of care, focused on serving the leading acute care hospitals, specifically in areas of cardiopulmonary conditions. We are pleased to formally announce the close of a senior secured term loan of $50 million from Runway Growth Capital a leading provider of growth loans to venture and non-venture backed companies. First, I'd like to thank Runway Growth Capital for allowing us to continue to innovate and grow at the rapid speed that our patients, providers, and the industry demands. I would also like to thank Georgia Bio for recognizing the opportunity that Vero Biotech now has to continue our work and improve the lives of our patients and to create better patient outcomes. Lastly, but most importantly, I would like to thank the entire Vero Biotech team for all they do, because they develop our innovations into solutions and we cannot do it without them. This is how we make progress and all progress depends on the unreasonable. Next up, we have the Innovation Awards. The Georgia Innovation Award honors the department, institution, company, or individuals who are forging new ground by thinking outside traditional paradigms to create some unique technology. Our first honoree is the Dental College of Georgia for their 3D printed nasal swabs that helps COVID-19 testing on a broad basis in Georgia. The swab was meaningfully enhanced to ensure the most accurate placement. Hi there, my name is Jeffrey James from the Department of Oral Maxillofacial Surgery at the Dental College of Georgia. On behalf of the Dental College and our department, I'd like to sincerely thank you for your consideration for this award. Uh, like all great accomplishments, I'm just a small part of this achievement. Uh, the real award goes to my team who worked tirelessly uh, and nonstop almost 24 hours a day during the height of it to reach our goals and do our part for the good of the community and for our state. Um, I'd like to specifically credit Drs. Uh, Alex Fagan, Kyle Frazier, and Brian Benton, all from the Department of uh, Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery. Uh, also, Will Balduck from the Department of Periodontics, Christian Dahl from Endodontics, um, Matthew Young uh, from General Dentistry, uh, David Pearson from Orthodontics, uh, Michael Thompson from Pediatric Dentistry, uh, and Jasmine Silas from uh, Prosthodontics. Uh, <clears throat> last but not least, of course, I'd like to um, acknowledge and thank Dr. Mark Stevens, the Chairman of our Department uh, of Oral Maxillofacial Surgery, and our Dean, Carol Lefebvre, uh, for their continued uh, support during this endeavor. Um, this was a unique uh, team to the Dental College uh, in that it incorporated a representative from every discipline of dentistry. Uh, this diversity and uh, unique perspective proved extremely helpful during this uh, uh, endeavor in achieving our goals. 
Um, once again, thank you very much. Um, and um, I do apologize if anyone met the business end of our 3D uh, printed nasal swab. Uh, thank you. Our next honoree is Patientory for their use of blockchain in clinical trials. In response to COVID, Patientory was able to develop a mobile app that provides real-time COVID-19 patient tracking and a reporting tool which evaluates users' current health conditions with a self-inspection quiz and a diagnostic testing kit equipped with a diagnostic care treatment plan to share with telehealth providers. The app also alerts users prior to entering COVID-19 hotspots. Hi, I'm Krista McFarlane, founder and CEO of Patientory. I'm really excited to accept this honor of the Innovation Award um, for Georgia Bio. As you know, Patientory is a digital healthcare company in the Atlanta startup ecosystem. We're one of the pioneering companies to bring blockchain um, to healthcare with our innovative solution and application that empowers our users with actionable insights into healthcare data. Last year, we were able to respond to the COVID-19 pandemic in offering our platform to help recruit underserved and minority, minority um, participants for the Moderna and Novavax COVID-19 clinical trials. As we continue to grow our company, our mission um, and gain adoption, we hope to impact the healthcare industry um, with improved clinical and financial outcomes. Thank you again. Our final honoree is the Saldana Research Group for their PPE face shields. The mechanical engineers produced a PPE face shield prototype and collaborated with the Global Center for Medical Innovation and Georgia Tech to transition to large scale manufacturing of the final design. More than 2 million PPE face shields were delivered to frontline healthcare workers across the country. Our team is honored to be recognized with the Georgia Bio Innovation Award for our work on personal protective equipment. The team consisted of individuals from Georgia Tech, as well as the Global Center for Medical Innovation. What started out as a rapid prototyping effort within the Flowers Invention Studio, a makerspace here in mechanical engineering, eventually grew into a large-scale manufacturing effort with the help of GCMI and corporate partners. It was amazing to work with Mike Fisher's team, Siemens, EIS, and Laser Tech to produce hundreds of thousands of units of PPE for hospitals here in Georgia, and then for GCMI to take that further with Exxon and Aflac to produce millions for the federal disaster response. The pandemic has highlighted the importance of resiliency of our nation's manufacturing supply chains, and our team has shown that the university and university affiliates like GCMI have a role to play in addressing such needs moving forward. On behalf of my team, I wanna say thanks again to Georgia Bio for this recognition and say, go Jackets. Dr. Saldana and the GCMI team are honored to be part of the event tonight and immensely proud of the team's work and the collaboration with our colleagues at Georgia Tech. Next up, we have the Legislator of the Year Awards. This award is presented to state legislators for their support of the life sciences in Georgia. This year, we are excited to recognize two legislators with this award. Senator Dean Burke and Representative David Knight spearheaded the effort to reduce prescription drug costs for Georgians and add clarity to the pharmaceutical process with their pharmacy benefit managers legislation last session. We appreciate their hard work and dedication to engaging all parties involved to this critical industry initiative. Hi, I'm Senator Dean Burke and I represent the 11th District of Georgia. It's an honor to again receive the Georgia Bio Legislature of the Year Award. I admire Georgia Bio's commitment to creating a healthier Georgia. The pandemic world we are in shows the importance of what you do every day. As a physician legislator, this recognition is even more meaningful to me. Thanks again, and I look forward to being a partner as we work together to create a healthier Georgia. First of all, thank you to Georgia Bio for the honor and the recognition of the work that uh, was part of last year's groundbreaking uh, legislative session in regards to PBM reform, especially from a patient uh, choice and a patient access uh, uh, point of view. I really want to say thank you to your membership, especially your members who are so important to healthcare through your research, your innovation, as you seek to bring new products, uh, new, new pharmaceuticals uh, to market for the benefit of our citizens. 
and hopefully uh, the work that we've done will allow better patient access to those products, to those pharmaceuticals, so that we can improve the lives of our Georgia citizens. Thank you so much. We are excited to present Dr. David Lee with this well-deserved award. Dr. Lee is the Vice President for Research and a Professor of Biochemistry and Molecular Biology at the University of Georgia. He is responsible for growing and supporting research across the university and for the innovation and commercialization of many research activities. During his tenure, UGA's total R&D expenditures have risen to $500 million. The university has begun development of the Innovation District, a project aimed at expanding industry engagement, and UGA has achieved a top five ranking among U.S. universities for the number of research-derived products that are introduced into the market annually for the past seven years. Good evening from Athens. You know, Michael J. Fox once said, you know you're getting old when you receive a Lifetime Achievement Award. But seriously, I am uh, honored, I'm humbled, uh, I'm deeply appreciative to Georgia Bio and to all those who participated in the selection process. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I'd like to share this uh, recognition with all of the hardworking, dedicated faculty, staff, and students at the University of Georgia. Uh, it takes uh, a village to advance uh, an institution like this. Uh, I'd also like to share it with the uh, senior leadership team here in the Office of Research. Uh, I have the privilege, the pleasure uh, daily of working with a very smart, engaged, professional uh, group of colleagues. Uh, and I wish I had the time to uh, name them all. Uh, collectively, we're very proud of the uh, advances uh, made by the university over the past couple of decades. Uh, we're proud of the robust partnerships we have with uh, Georgia's other research universities and with the Georgia Research Alliance. Uh, and we're proud of the many benefits that accrue to the citizens of Georgia uh, as a result. Thank you uh, very much for this honor. Our final award category and the highest honor bestowed by Georgia Bio each year is the Industry Growth Award. This award is presented to individuals who have made extraordinary contributions to the growth of Georgia's life sciences industry. Accepting the first Industry Growth Award is E. Jane Carraway. E. Jane is the Director for Life Sciences at the Georgia Department of Economic Development, where she leads her division in providing assistance to companies who are planning to establish or expand their presence in Georgia. Since joining the Georgia Department of Economic Development in 2009, EJane has worked closely with organizations across Georgia to grow the state's life science community. Her diligent work on more than 160 economic development projects has generated over $5.9 billion in capital investment and created more than 17,500 jobs for Georgians. In addition to bringing billions of dollars and thousands of jobs to Georgia, E. Jane has led Relay for Life for the American Cancer Society and has served the Boy Scouts of America for many years. She is also active in her church at Oak Hill and has served on the Women's Ministry Board and the Global Mission Team. When asked about E. Jane's impact on Georgia's economy, David Hartnett, Chief Economic Development Officer at the Metro Atlanta Chamber, had this to say, E. Jane for years has been and continues to be a dedicated leader in helping to advance Georgia's life science ecosystem. From her commitment to increasing exposure to Georgia life science assets through managing key global conferences like the Bio International Convention and HIMSS, to her new position as chair of the Innovation Crescent Regional Partnership, we are truly blessed by her commitment and forward thinking mindset. I'm grateful for the opportunity that I've been afforded to work in the life sciences community in the state of Georgia, to work with the thousands of businesses and thousands upon thousands of individuals, to work with the state of Georgia and to work with Georgia Bio and other organizations that bring us all together, to work with the colleges and universities with their new breakthroughs and with those from kindergarten through college, through masters to and, and in the workforce, to continue to educate that workforce in life sciences and to all those dedicated and passionate about what we do in this industry. But I'm embarrassed to be presented this award because without each and every one of you, we could not do what we do. Allow me to give just an example of what I mean. Recently, we had a large project looking at the state of Georgia. We had five days 
to put together a very intense two-day virtual visit. Our communities, our colleges, our universities, all of those folks prepared, got information ready. You as companies, many of you were willing to talk to our consultants confidentially, uh, not knowing who you were talking to or what you were talking about, but to tell them and to give them a true picture of what it looks like to do business in the state of Georgia. You brought it, Life Sciences community. You brought it. I grabbed my little pencil and started ticking down the marks, just counting top of mind those individuals that we were able to call on quickly to share about the good things going on in life sciences in Georgia. 53 was a quick count, 53. I'm grateful for the fact that I can pick up the phone and call or text you, or that you will do the same with us. That you'll bring the ideas forward, you will assist in us in promoting life sciences each and every day to the betterment of Georgia citizens and citizens around the world. And it's with that, though embarrassed, I will humbly accept this award for each of us. Thank you. Our final award recipient is Susan Chows, president of the Georgia Research Alliance. Susan joined GRA in 2001 and shaped the organization's university-based venture development program, which has been recognized nationally for its innovation. Since 2008, Chows served as GRA's senior vice president managing the Alliance's $649 million portfolio of investment in talent and technology at Georgia's leading research universities. This past September, Susan was named the organization's fourth president. She has been instrumental in helping Georgia universities recruit world-class scientists to Georgia as GRA eminent scholars and making strategic investments in lab infrastructure to help the scholars expand their work. A longtime part of the Georgia community, Susan worked at Georgia Tech, where she managed collaborations between the university, federal agencies, and industry. She also served as general manager of ATDC, Georgia Tech's business incubator. To quote GRA board chair David Ratcliffe, Susan's management and leadership have made GRA an exceptionally effective organization. Under Susan's leadership, GRA has and will continue to expand research capacity at our universities then seed and shape startup companies around inventions and discoveries. Hello everyone, and thank you Georgia Bio for this great honor. I'm privileged to be recognized alongside people who have worked diligently to make life sciences have a stronger presence in our state. This year marks GRA's 30th anniversary, and we are grateful for our partnership with Georgia Bio and its members. We're also proud of the work we've done with Georgia's public and private universities to help grow the industry. Our universities provide companies with a talented workforce. Many of the exceptional scientists we recruit as eminent scholars work in partnership with the industry. And technology development being done by faculty and supported by GRA Ventures has led to successful startup companies like Metaclips Therapeutics and Jackson Medical, two other honorees tonight. None of this would be possible without people working together. GRA is that rare alliance among universities, industry, and government. And now more than ever, Georgia's universities are teaming up. They're sharing labs and equipment and collaborating on truly life-changing research. All of this is good for Georgia. So once again, congratulations to this year's award winners, and thank you, Georgia Bio. Congratulations again to all of our honorees. Now, as we continue to progress through this pandemic, life will assuredly start to look a little bit more normal, but we cannot allow the lessons learned from this pandemic to pass us by. We have learned that the power of collaboration and coordination saves lives by empowering us to achieve our goals more expeditiously and effectively. I encourage you to convert this hard-earned knowledge into action by getting more involved with Georgia Bio and our parent, the Center for Global Health Innovation, as we continue to engage the community and raise awareness of the value of our industry. Join us on social media, share stories for the weekly BioBeat, sign up for our legislative watch and newsletter, and attend our signature events, the MedTech Digital Health Summit in May, the Patient Advocacy Summit in September, and the Bioinnovation Summit in October. We will now enter into our breakout rooms. 
you will be able to view and select which ones you want to join from your control panel. You may leave that breakout room at any time and can then select a new one to join. If you are having any issues, contact our staff or click the Ask for Help button. Please take advantage of this opportunity to congratulate all of our award winners, catch up with familiar faces, network with new, one, new ones, and help us celebrate another wonderful group of awardees. On behalf of our chair, Shay Foley, congratulations again to our awardees. Thank you for joining us this evening, and we hope you continue to stay safe and well. Congratulations again to our award winners, and thank you to our sponsors. Have a wonderful rest of your evening, and we hope to see you for another event soon.